we are embarking on a journey of exploration and innovation with this ever evolving changing landscape of artificial intelligence with the collective wisdom of eight diverse leaders CXOs in today's round table. AI landscape is pretty broad. It's a plethora of information there. So one point below machine learning, it's deep learning. It's a, it's a subdivision of machine learning, but the deep learning is nothing but it goes one step ahead of machine learning and it learns by itself and takes decision, uh, uh, which machine learning usually does not do. There are many different types of machine learning though. And neural network is, is the crux of this entire AI. Neural networks is like how your brain behaves. Neural is synapses, right? Your brain behaves like a synapses is connected to different neural. That's the same, uh, AI is actually, it's, it's taken from that brain mechanism. If you look at how, what is the uh, inference, it's taken from the brain a uh, neural technology. So that's where uh, the neural network is again a very important element in AI. I'm not looking at a technology solution from, you know, somebody who I would rather throw open a challenge to somebody saying that, hey, this is the problem that I'm facing. Uh, this is how we are solving this manually. Where do you think you can bring AI in? is something which I had been asking these questions, you know, for when I was building my AI team. So what earlier took, uh, say, millions of dollars for large teams to build over, say, five years, ten years, all that knowledge, now I think can be fast-tracked with smaller, well-aligned uh, uh, teams because this I see is as a knowledge automation. So what happened as an industrial... Uh, automation say 100 years back say uh, this era is a knowledge automation because you do have a lot of knowledge available at your fingertip. The product line in our company is more like SKU it's around 30,000 and uh, it's chemical so so many compliance and uh, the, the process of implementation and research everything is uh, it's a time consuming and my business and uh, our CEO want to reduce the timeline even though they manufacture but it is when it comes to the market it takes longer and uh, he wants a to make the entire business business process shorter so uh, right now uh, is uh, trying to uh, have some knowledge and <coughs> we would like to engage some partners so essentially the way the skill sets that need to be used for different businesses will be very different. Uh, but most essentially I think what needs to be solved through AI is uh, obviously you need uh, people to start buying, you know, in the retail side of the world. So predictive, uh, what do you say, purchasing uh, or predictive analysis to what really will sell. So I'm not a new investment and additional thing where existing process and everything wanted to transform from the traditional method and to migrate to a new technology where be in machine learning or uh, various uh, subcategories of AI. So what I f went across uh, had a big challenge is on the integrations with our existing setups. So I wanted to understand like how we'd be able to competitive enough and how we'd be able to overcome all those challenges. Uh, for example, uh, like what she mentioned, I've visited some of the advertising agencies being our customers some of the uh, organizations, digital organizations, they use ChatGPT to do a right. lot of works. They right. they try to uh, instead of uh, increase the productivity. Right. So, uh, is there an outsource model for AI for such organizations where they cannot invest in people, build yeah. a capability within themselves? Absolutely, it's a great question again. Um, it's a make or buy model, right? So that applies to AI as well. So two things to it. Um, the product that we are building can we reuse it across different area if that is the case it's better to make yourself we provide solutions which provide automation to customers right so some of the products like smartflow uh, smartflow omni channel which comes with the integrated whatsapp and the inbuilt bot uh, most of the organizations today they have started using the whatsapp as a communication medium to reach out to uh, b2c customers so that's where we have built a lot of products around uh, our uh, UCAS pro platform products. So this is uh, one of the tools what is available in target. Any of the uh, SMEs is to uh, grow larger and larger and I think that's, that's a kind of uh, ambition what every organization would carry, right? So it is very important to uh, see that there is a right partner that you can uh, look at in terms of having the 
uh, uh, skills or uh, uh, you don't have to invest on the skills or it's not viable for the SMEs to invest on all all these uh, skill sets, right? So that's where as a, as a uh, service partner, we could play a role in terms of uh, leveraging our uh, skill sets in terms of the ma as a managed services that can be offered uh, with the cloud experts, with the uh, cyber security and uh, services what we have, what we saw about the WhatsApp, Omnichannel, Sparkflow services. These are some of the services which are helping organizations today to automate uh, multiple business processes and all that, right? And uh, special thanks to Tata Tele Business Services, Kajir and uh, Prakash, um, in making this event possible. And uh, thank you, Satish, uh, of the talk in organizing this event. Uh, and um, let's carry the torch of uh, innovation, collaboration, adaptability in making our businesses successful using the AI uh, in this uh, new age era. Thank you all once again.